Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Monica, and today we're gonna be reviewing the Chi Spin and Curl. I didn't really intend to make a review on this product. After like a month or two of researching automatic curler products, I finally decided to go with this one. I watched a ton of review videos, tutorial videos, and just read a bunch of reviews. And I chose to go with this one because it just seemed like the easiest to use. And something you need to know about me is I am terrible at curling my hair. I cannot use a curling iron. I am terrible at curling my hair with a straightener. So I was looking for the simplest, easiest to use product to curl my hair. Now, this is the final product. I'm not gonna tell you yet what I think about it. <laughs> if you stick around, watch the rest of the video, you will get my honest opinion on this product. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get to it. We are going to be reviewing and using the Chi Volcanic Lava Ceramic Pro Spin and Curl. <laughs> That's a mouthful. This is not a how-to tutorial, just so we're aware. This is a, I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm going to record it so you guys who also don't know what you're doing can decide if you wanna buy it or not. <laughs> so I'm really excited about this. I am terrible at curling my own hair. So I started researching on like the automatic curlers, obviously the Dyson, which is something I would really like. But one, it's out of stock everywhere, and two, I have yet to convince myself to pay that price point. <laughs> so I did a little bit of research, and this is what I found. I went and picked this up at Ulta yesterday, and I'm really excited, but also very nervous because it just kind of sucks your hair up. So we'll see how that goes. Ignore this crazy, frizzy hair, because obviously the purpose of today's video is to take this frizzy, out-of-the-shower mess and turn it into pretty curls. So let's see if we can achieve that. Like I mentioned, I did just get out of the shower. I let my hair air dry, which I feel like maybe I should have blow dried it so that it's not so frizzy since I just have naturally frizzy hair. But I am gonna use some of this spray since it is still damp. This does help with frizziness and all that. So I'm gonna just spray a little bit of that. And brush it through and then I'm gonna wait for it to dry and we can get started. Okay, super pretty, love the colors, very pretty. It literally says this side towards head. Thank you. I actually needed that. They're so smart. Um, my hair is very close to being dry, so we're just gonna plug it in, let this warm up, and see what we can do. All right, it is now plugged in. Um, let's turn it on. I don't know what the max is. I think it was like 450 or something. 400 is usually where I keep my hair straightener at, so I guess we're gonna start with that. I'm kind of scared. I'm gonna give this a twirl a couple of times to kind of just see what happens. So I'm just gonna press the right arrow. And then the left arrow. Will it release my hair? Or will it like, do I have to press the opposite side to like undo it? Oh my God, I'm nervous. Okay, this is gonna be a hot mess. I put up the top part of my hair. So we're gonna be working with this part. This goes here, I guess. And then I spin my hair. <gasps> I don't know if I did it. I don't know what's happening. I don't even think I got close enough to my scalp. Okay, okay, all right, look at that. That's a curl. It's actually a really cute curl. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I definitely did not get close to the scalp, but that's 
an adorable curl. Oh my God, it's so bouncy. Okay, now that the nerves are gone, sort of, um, I think I need to put up more of my hair and start with a smaller section, to be honest, because I think I'm grabbing too much initially. So I'm gonna put up like two thirds of my hair and we're gonna start with the very, very bottoms. So this, so we're gonna go like this. I think everything's in there. I'm gonna push the button. Are we ready? Wait, doesn't seem like it's in there. Hold on. Okay, okay we're gonna start. I'm gonna remove that little section. There we go. Okay, ready? I did it, I did it, I did it. Okay, it's there. I don't really know if I'm putting it in the spot. Let's try it in this way. I think I tangled. It didn't beep at all. The back is definitely a little harder because like, it's hard to, nope, see it tangled again. So the good thing is if it does get tangled, it literally stops and you just turn it off and kind of let it undo itself. So I do like that. So it didn't get too, too tangled up, but I think the problem with the back right now that I'm having is I'm not really actually putting it in the middle because I can't see. So I don't really know how to fix that issue. We're gonna give it a try on this side again. I'm trying to like start it and kind of work it up when it's still right here. It's looking good. It's just these back pieces are definitely much harder. All right, I'm gonna continue doing this bottom section of my hair and we'll see where we're at in a little bit. Definitely way more comfortable already. Um, I'm naturally just way more comfortable on this side of my hair anyway, like with any um, tool or anything like that. So I can already see that these curls on this side are so much prettier than like this jumbled mess. So I think that's just gonna take time and practice. Okay, that section is complete. That's what it's looking like so far. So like I said, I think just naturally I'm better at working on this side of my hair. So these curls are super nice and I think I got nice pieces. These ones I think I like was grabbing smaller strands so it is a little more like chunky. But I'm hoping that once I brush it out and it's all done, it'll kind of like mix in and look fine. That's the hopes. All right, last bit of hair. God, that was an intense curl. Boop. Okay, I just went in and fixed this side. You can
can definitely see it is kind of more matching the other side now. I honestly, seriously love this product. I really want to like brush it out too much with my fingers because I really do like this like look. So I, I think this is the finished product. I mean, I think that's gorgeous. What do you guys think? I think that's super pretty, especially for somebody who has absolutely no idea how to curl their hair. I am really excited. I'm not gonna lie, I was totally expecting to like return this product and I wasn't really sure if it was gonna be because the product wasn't good or if like I was not gonna be able to figure out how to use it. So I'm very, very excited that this is easy to use and I think as I use it more often and get better at it, I think it's gonna be really good. So that probably in total took like I'd say 45 minutes of actual, eh, maybe a little less of like actual doing the, the twirling and sectioning and whatnot. Um, I think with something like this, when you get comfortable with it, you can literally get this down to like 15, 20 minutes, especially like for me, I don't have crazy long hair and I don't have thick hair. So it kind of goes by fast once you get over the fear of it sucking up your hair and tangling it up. But overall, I'm super excited. I all right guys here is the final product so it has been i'd say now about 35 to 45 minutes so i have been playing with it a lot so it kind of did fall off because i've literally just been going like this because i'm just like super excited that like i have some curls right now <laughs> i do think that as i get better at using it and i'm more consistent with like the strands of hair that i choose to curl at a time and like the sectioning i think it'll look so much better I really like this product. I thought it was super easy to use. Once you get over the fear of it like sucking up your hair and like getting tangled, it really is super easy to use. I will say for anybody that hasn't purchased this yet because you are afraid of like it getting tangled and whatnot, it's really not as bad as it seems. Like as you saw in the video, that first moment where I got it tangled, I like literally you see me jump. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, I was very scared, but it was clearly all in my head. They did a really good job in the design of this when it comes to your hair getting tangled. It's very clear when your hair is getting tangled and it actually didn't hurt because I thought it was really going to hurt. And that was one of the things that like I was worried about was it really just tugging at like my scalp and pulling my hair and ripping it off, but it didn't do that. Now, I don't know if that's because I caught the tangle pretty quick and I didn't really have that big of a chunk of hair that was in there when I got tangled, so I was able to detangle it very quick. I don't know if that was just like that one time thing or you know, if it could get worse than that. I'm sure it can, but it didn't hurt and it was fairly simple to untangle once I read the instructions again and found out that I was supposed to turn it off. But overall, I really like it. I'm excited to see how my curls look after like trying this for like three or four times and just getting really confident and comfortable with it. But yeah. Overall, I highly recommend. That's gonna do it for today. If you enjoyed this content, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next video.